an 18 years old Bophthalmos case, microtrack filtration done earlier failed due to scar formation. We have to do refiltration, which we did. We made two microtracks, one using 200 micron tip and another using 100 micron fugo blade tip. At the end of surgery, we injected mitomycin 2 milligram in 4 ml of saline. We have done this many, many times and it does not affect the health of the bleb or the conjunctiva. So this is the eye, you can see thick scar in the area of peripheral iridectomy. So should we go after the scar or should we bypass it and operate at a more comfortable place? So my choice is we will not touch the scar, we will make new tracks. So here the anterior chamber is very deep so there is no need for an additional iridectomy and we are using 200 micron tip and soon you will see the air bubble floating in the anterior chamber. Now we take a 100 micron fugo blade tip and make an additional track alongside it. Done. So in a way you have bypassed the troubled tissues of the perilimbus and created a useful filtration track. Then I have to inject before that, I close the 200 micron conjunctival tract with a suture to prevent excessive flow from the bleb, which is also important. However, this opening is so far away, you can leave it untouched, but I just placed a suture and closed it. Now the next thing is to make a place for, just make an opening in the conjunctiva with 100 micron fugo blade tip. So you don't need a needle, you can inject mitomycin as prepared under the conjunctival flap and hopefully this will reduce the chances of fibrosis. So paracentesis and air bubble in the anterior chamber and the surgery is done. Thank you very much.